we're going to go to the GPU. See how the GPU clock speed is at uh, 334 megahertz? That's what it defaults to, okay? Um, when you overclock in AMD Overdrive, the way mine works is every time I restart my computer, it resets my laptop to factory settings, which is cool because I don't always want to have my laptop overclocked. You know, I don't want to be, you know, surfing the internet and looking at YouTube videos with it overclocked. If there's no reason to have it overclocked, I don't. Sometimes I don't even have it overclocked when I'm playing games. If I'm playing like, you know, the Elder Scrolls, you know, Oblivion or Morrowind, you don't have to have this laptop clocked to play those games. Uh, if you're going to play, you know, um, graphic extensive games like uh, Batman Arkham Asylum or, um, you know, Skyrim, stuff like that, you definitely want to have this uh, laptop overclocked, okay? Um, Battlefield 3, um, I was playing last night, I didn't have it overclocked, and I was at a constant 24, 25 frame minutes per second. When overclocked, I get 34 on Battlefield 3. So um, this is the GPU status, okay? I don't mess with any of this stuff, none of this stuff, okay? I don't even do the, the auto clock. It, it looks complicated for being an auto clock. Um, now, I've gone through some stability tests and stuff like that, and I've found what you want to do is click on the clock voltage, okay, where it says clock voltage. Now, you're not going to be messing with the voltage at all, okay? And here's another setting in here which actually shows your CPU core speed, which should match the CPU status speed up there, okay? See where my little mouse cur cur cursor is? Excuse me. Don't mess with that. Don't touch it, okay? See where the target voltage is? Don't touch that. You're probably going to do some power voltage stuff to blow your laptop up, all right? Take, take, take your hand off the mouse button. I know you want to click it. Do not click it, okay? See where here it says uh, voltage? This is where you can mess with the voltage, okay? Don't mess with it. it you don't need to. Don't, don't do it, man. You're, you're going to mess some stuff up. Granted, when you restart your laptop, it goes back, but, you know, hopefully. I mean, I've never messed with that stuff, so all I'm messing with is the GPU clock. You see this stuff in red? Don't touch that. Do not mess with that, okay? You see this guy right here? That's what you want to mess with, the GPU clock. That is the only thing that I touch. This little slider right here is the only thing that I mess with, okay? when I overclock my GPU. I slide that up and down. That's all you have to do. And here's your target right here where the mouse is. That's your target speed and this is your current speed. So default this laptop, the target speed's at 655 or 654 megahertz. Mine's at 654 all the time. The current speed is 334 megahertz because the laptop's not doing anything. So when you start playing a game and you come back in here this thing, this current speed should be at 654, okay? That's with its stock. That's with, you're not overclocking anything, you know, and that's the thing I liked about AMD Overdrive. Um, you could use it as a, uh, as a system um, monitor, too, to see actually what's going on. Um, so we're going to come back and we're going to mess with all this. I'm going to minimize this, okay? And then right-click on your desktop and open up AMD Vision Control Center, Okay? This should appear, okay? And you should upgrade to the Catalyst 13.1. Update your drivers. Go onto the AMD website. It's super easy. You just hit download and, and it goes through the process and it updates everything, okay? Um, I'm going to go into advanced mode. You have to be in advanced mode um, to mess with all this stuff. Now, the um, graphics performance, I don't mess with that stuff because if you mess with the wrong thing, if you turn up some anti-aliasing options, you can get some horrible frame rates. So I leave it stock, whatever it's stock at, that's what I leave it at, okay? What you want to do is go to right here where my mouse is, click performance, then click on CPU power, okay? This is on battery. So on battery, my CPU processor speeds are 1.4. You can raise this, okay, all the way to 1.9. I don't, though. If I don't have my laptop plugged in, it's for a reason. And, you know, I'm probably on a, you know, street corner or something uh, trying to get on the Internet. Um, just kidding. I'm, I'm not on street corners trying to get on the Internet too often. 
But, um, and I always have my laptop plugged in just because I want the full processor power. Um, plugged in, this is what you need to mess with, okay? Where it says plugged in CPU processor speeds, okay? Defaulted, I think it looked 